As each year passes, we learn more and more about the surface of Mars and the wonders that it holds. So far, we've sent rovers and probes there in order to help us to understand how hostile it is, along with helping us to prepare ourselves for when we eventually travel there. If things go to plan, space agencies are talking about sending humans there within the next 10 years, and if these missions are successful, they will easily become our biggest missions to date. Interestingly though, a scientist has spoken out about NASA and some of their missions, detailing that the space agency has made some interesting discoveries in the past that many people aren't aware of. For example, many don't know that NASA is being sued by the scientists, who has revealed that there's currently life on Mars, and that the space agency isn't being honest about their findings. It's important to note that before I carry on, NASA has said that they've never found proof of life on Mars. But Ron Joseph has said that he's identified some interesting photographs that suggest otherwise. Joseph says though that the photographs show what looks like a mushroom-like fungus. At the time, lead scientist of NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity, Steve Squires, said he was confused by the report saying that his team didn't expect this, and didn't know what to say, noting that when they went back and looked at the photographs they could only see a rock. The team did say that it could have been placed there by either the rover itself or by a meteorite. However, this explanation wasn't enough, and Joseph still said that the photographs were proof of life. The official document reads as follows, Ron Joseph, PhD Petitioner vs. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and Charles F. Bolden, Chief Administrator, Number 14-CV-00385, United States District Court, ND California San Jose Division, March 6, 2014. On January 27, 2014, Petitioner Ron Joseph, PhD, filed a petition for writ of mandamus to compel the National Aeronautics and Space Administration to closely photograph and thoroughly and scientifically examine and investigate a biological organism on the planet Mars. Joseph identified this specimen through publicly released photographs from the NASA Mars rover Opportunity. Petitioner has requested and demanded in writing the following of NASA. NASA's Chief Administrator Bolden and NASA's rover team to take 100 high-resolution close-up in focus photos of the specimen identified in Mars Solar Day 3540 from various angles from all sides and from above down into the bowl of the specimen and under appropriate lighting conditions which minimizes glare. Take a minimum of 24 microscopic in focus images of the exterior lip, walls and interior of the specimen, under appropriate lighting conditions. NASA and the rover team must make public and supply petitioner with all high resolution photos and various other images of that specimen as demanded. However, the courts did say that the only jury Joseph alleges is NASA's failure to investigate a specimen, depicted in images taken during a Mars rover mission. This is not an injury particular to Joseph. Joseph also suggests that he's also standing because he's a taxpayer. Generally, taxpayer standing is only allowed in a narrow range of establishment clause cases, because the establishment clause is a specific limitation on exercise of the power of tax and spend. In addition to not alleging a violation of the establishment clause, Joseph does not appear to have alleged a violation of any specific federal law. Joseph has been criticised by the largest scientific community, saying that such claims such as a rock found on Mars being proof of living organisms doesn't hold any weight, and that NASA's scientific researchers and other space agencies agree that these rocks are not proof of living organisms. Joseph wasn't happy with NASA's response to this, saying that they haven't explained how it suddenly appeared in the camera's view, and then vanished, further saying that rocks don't just move on their own. He said the following, 
any intelligent adult, adolescent, child, chimpanzee, monkey, dog, or rodent, with even a modicum of curiosity, would approach investigating closely, examine a bowl-shaped structure, which appears just a few feet in front of them when 12 days earlier they hadn't noticed it. But not NASA and its rover team, who've refused to even take a single close-up photo. End quote. As of right now, NASA has said that the photograph isn't of interest, and that the simple answer is that it's just a rock. Something to note though is that not every discovery made by NASA and other space agencies is understood. Sometimes these discoveries confuse even the best scientists. Back in 1997, a mysterious plume was detected by the Hubble Space Telescope coming from Mars. The European Space Agency said the following on their website. Plumes seen reaching high above the surface of Mars are causing a stir among scientists. On two separate occasions in March and April of 2012, amateur astronomers reported definite plume-like features developing on the planet. The plumes were seen rising to altitudes of over 150 miles or 250 kilometers, above the same region of Mars on both occasions. By comparison, similar features seen in the past have not exceeded 62 miles or 100 kilometers. At around 155 miles or 250 kilometers, the division between the atmosphere and outer space is very thin so the reported plumes are extremely unexpected. The features developed in less than 10 hours, covering an area of up to a thousand kilometers, and remained visible for around 10 days, changing their structure from day to day. None of the spacecraft orbiting Mars saw the features because of their viewing geometries and illumination conditions at the time. However, checking archive Hubble Space Telescope images taken between 1995 and 1999, and databases of amateur images spanning 2001 to 2014, revealed occasional clouds at the limb of Mars, albeit usually up to 62 miles, or 100 kilometers in altitude. But one set of Hubble images from May 17, 1997, revealed an abnormally high plume, similar to that spotted by the amateur astronomers in 2012. Scientists are now working on determining the nature and cause of the plumes, in using the Hubble data in combination with the images taken by amateurs. One idea discussed is that the features are caused by a reflective cloud of ice and water, carbon dioxide ice or dust particles, but this would require exceptional deviations from standard atmospheric circulation models, to explain cloud formations at such high altitudes. Another idea is that they're related to an aurora emission, and indeed auroras have been previously observed at these locations, linked to a known region on the surface where there's a large anomaly in crustal magnetic fields. The jury's still out on the nature of these curiously high altitude Martian plumes. NASA said the following, there's also other interesting features that appear in this image. The northwestern portions of the planet are enveloped in unusually thick water ice clouds, similar to other cloud formations seen on Earth. Some clouds extend very far on Mars, and center around darker regions. The spot near the Terminator, boundary between day and night, at around 9 on the 27th of June planet image is a 27 km high volcano, protruding through the clouds. The remnant's north polar ice cap composed of ice and water is at the top of the May and June images, and a bluish south polar hood composed of water ice clouds is seen above the southern edge. Because the planet's axis is tipped towards us during this season, we cannot see the south polar ice cap which is in winter darkness." End quote. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries and announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.